really care if you clean it. Can you just please stop wanking in my house? I haven't had toilet paper for the last... Did you hear what I said? Stop wanking at my house. Okay. Do it at your own. It's fucking weird, man. Sorry. Are we live, man? We're live. Bullshit. I don't believe you. Your what toilet's we- disgusting. He did that. No. He can spray shit. That, that no. is a lie. No. From his bum. Why are you doing this, huh? I don't believe you. Are you trying to embarrass me? I haven't had toilet paper for the last week. And you blame me for that mess in there. Yeah. You are You are disgusting right now. My shits have been hard. You've had zinc on your face for four days. Yeah, I've stopped showering apart from when I shit because I don't have any toilet paper. That deserves a clap, I think. But I don't wash my face. I just wash my bum. Yeah, he just gets into the shower and scrapes the shit in between his cheeks. and Flakes come off and you see it go down the, the drain pipe. It's fucking gross, man. <laughs> Seriously, I'm not kidding. Have you? When's the last time you shat? Just then. I just did it then. I had quick so shower. you had to what, wash your bum bum? Yeah. No, I don't want to smell your fingers. Thank you. I can't believe it's been so itchy. Yeah, it's like that's how they live in like in Bali and shit. They shoot their ass with water jets. Yeah, I that's fucking they, hate that. Really? Oh, I fucking hate that. It's it, you walk around with an itchy ass just permanently, man. They're called bum guns. Yeah, and like you you know for sure people get too close and squirt the water into their ass and then the shit cascades back onto the nozzle that's happened for sure oh I don't, never thought about that the shit water would run back down no like but that's why you fire it off before you use it on your own ass yeah but it doesn't matter there's still shit all over the nozzle and it just gets washed onto your hands and <laughs> yeah fucked. dude there is something creepy about it, oh, it but is. if you're in a nice hotel room it's like it's a good way to clean your ass that's why I use the shower I just use the bed sheets that they had don't the Japanese have really interesting toilets? Don't you talk about the Japanese, man. Not Sorry. since Vietnam. We had a very interesting... They thi- have the little shooter thing. Oh, it's- yeah. They have the toilets that spray directly into the center of, of your asshole. It is so hot in here, guys. I have no fucking air con. You know what they should invent? They should invent like a vacuum that you just stick onto your asshole and it just sucks the shit clean out. Could so there's good. There's no... doesn't touch the sides. There's no fuss, no muss. Boom, I wonder, gone. And the pipe just leads out into the dude, back garden. you've just given me a video idea. We'll get a small vacuum so I can fit it in there. Get a little pipe. When I need to shit, we'll fucking shove the, the vacuum up my ass. And then turn it on. Actually, could it suck my intestines out? No. <laughs> <laughs> and then... We'll suck this shit out. And then we'll take it back and try and get a refund and say, mate, your vacuum cleaner smells like shit. <laughs> yeah, that's not bad. Um, but I reckon that's a great experiment. Do you reckon it sucked? I'd have to squeeze. If I, if I held on to it, it wouldn't take the shit. It's 20, like when we did my eyeball. If you've got a hammeroid hanging there, it might get sucked in. <sighs> yeah, wow. Um, it popped out. We had, a, we had a weird weekend, didn't we? Played a bit of golf on Saturday. God, and golf then is the new thing, guys. Sunday, we um, tried something, um, sound and breathing therapy session, where you pretty much, it's just a bunch of people, you fucking lie down in a room, and you just have this, this technique to breathing, and you just fucking trip balls for like two hours. My, like, it was fucking insane. It was amazing. So, since we, we're, not, doing we're not drinking and doing drugs, this was like, this is the closest thing to fucking... MD cramps that I've ever had. Yeah, you were like My hands this. were literally like this. Like fucking curled up like little T-Rexes and so were James's. Yeah, I didn't get that high. Uh, was, um, was that due to the breathing? Like, you know, when you do Wim Hof, you get a bit tingly in yeah, the fingers. Yeah, it, it Is that like, the onset like that. of that happening? Is it like that times fucking a hundred. And now, whenever I clear my mind, like last night trying to go to sleep, I was like trying to clear my mind. And every time I do, it's like I my, my hand just starts fucking spasming now. It's like I fucked myself. Wow, you gave yourself like brain damage. <laughs> you had a stroke. Fucking weird. It's like it taps into your nervous system or some shit. I don't know the science behind it, but it was nice. Yeah, we're definitely going to do it again. Highly recommend. Do you want to come to the next one? 100%. And for those of you who um, we, we are fucking massive Wim Hof advocates too, if just fucking Google him or YouTube him. Watch the Vice documentary and then just do it. It's it's weird, but just takes fucking like try minutes. it. Yeah, it takes 10 minutes. Me and my girlfriend have been Wim Hofing lately. And 
But you're right before bed, we do it together, and then that's what me and Mon do. We fall straight asleep. Exactly. And we have I have instant I have instant sleep straight through, no yep. breaks, nothing. Mon doesn't even get to the end of round one and she's out. And like it just fucking it's whenever I'm anxious or stressed, a bit of breathing. But this isn't even we're not we're not getting paid to say this. This is just a genuinely fucking awesome thing. So give it a crack and <sighs> comment how your experience was. I've rash. All around my area. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Yeah, we've gone. We've for the website. We've we. Michael's like, oh, we, we're watching some old website videos, pissing ourselves. And I'm like, why don't we go back to our roots and do some of the old videos that we used to do like five years ago? And that's what we've been doing because they're fast to film. It's just we're throwing shit at each other. We're hitting shit at each other. Video done. But fuck me. Fuck me, it's paying for his yeah, and she. We got bruises and marks all today, over our body. Today we did the squash ball slam. We redid it. Oh, we, my we God. changed it slightly. And holy f- <laughs> Michael got fucked so hard. Yeah, <laughs> Were you we running in circles again? He Dude, ran. This was a big running video. <laughs> he ran kilometers. He covered a lot of ground. Yeah. Fast, too. I got really tired. Fast. <laughs> You went for a run as well. Yeah, I got hit the last one. I had to just get out of there. Runs out of shot, goes into the bush, comes back with an office chair. <laughs> like, how the fuck did that happen? I, I don't even know how that happened either. Wim Hof. <laughs> um, are Rash. you going to bring back the um, the uh, thumbtack soccer ball? No, I swear. Yep. The one that you ended up in hospital. Well, doing? we'd have to we'd have to glue all the thumbtacks on onto takes another. Time. Yeah, and that takes a. Should long we do the soccer time. ball or should we do tennis balls? I'd probably rather do tennis balls. Come yeah, on. tennis balls are a bit because you could just do a. That couple. came from my ass. That's a long pubic hair, with like dried <laughs> shit on that. Yeah. yeah, just keep that fucking shit away from me, all right? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me, cunt. <clears throat> <clears throat> Oh, gagging. <laughs> Wash it down with a bit of coke. Oh. So yeah, that was our fucking weekend and um <laughs> Michael's been fingering his ass all day, saying, Oh, oh, G spot and uh, now it hurts. I've heard that maybe seven or eight times today. We fucking went and filmed in this weird little hidden bike jump area, hidden in the bush. And I told Julian I'm getting ready for the for the collapse. <laughs> and there's this half built, no, probably like one fifth built cabin made of wood. You convinced Julian that Michael had built it. <laughs> and Julian was why? He was so confused. He's like, you fucking dickhead. God. <laughs> then I just kept fingering my ass because it was itchy as shit because I got no toilet paper. And yeah, and just kept saying G-spot. Okay, for today's episode, we got a letter from the PO Box. We're not doing the fucking sentences no one said anymore. Um, secrets, we weren't sent enough secrets, so we're cutting that one this week. So we got fucking questions. 100%. And then we got fucking... And then we got fucking... We got the pr- we prank call? Like fucking... Yeah, and let's do something different like... Have fondest childhood memory or some shit. Yeah. Let's well, actually, some, there is a there like is a question. Stories. There is a question asking what your first memories of each other He's were. Got so a we could go question. there. Yeah, I can. Yeah, there's some really good questions. Yeah, let's this, just get more into the questions. I'm enjoying it so far, apart from my rashy ass. <sighs> um, I got a pretty rash. Actually, we're starting pretty deep. Um, a guy named Isaac Prentice asked us a question, and I thought you guys could. Answer really it. relate. He he actually thought he was getting real, uh, being a real Debbie Downer by asking the question, but um, it's something that's quite brought up quite a lot social media wise. So anyway, I'll start with that. Are we doing um, it now? Did yeah. you do so? No, on this day today. Oh yeah, fuck on this day. Holy shit, we're getting ahead, aren't fuck we? Fuck me, bro. I thought I was fucking forgetting something, buddy. Here we go, Maddie. <laughs> All right, on this day, Matty, here we go. He's putting his goggles on. Can you show everyone oh. you in that? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> you look They're like I down. love how they match blue and blue. We've got to explain that. That makes no sense to anyone listening. Matt's wearing some goggles that turn everything upside down. Someone sent them to us and I can't really remember who. Oh, they're really difficult to uh, use. Where's my thing? All right, anyway, on this day. I'm in sweating. On this day in 1997, Albus Dumbledore sexually assaulted three students at Hogwarts. Neville Longbottom spoke out about the abuse in his final year of study. He said that Dumbledore wanted to find out just how long his bottom really was and would slide his wand up and down his crack before inserting his wand up his anus and pushing it deep into Neville's core. 
The other two students wanted to remain anonymous, but I found out it was Ron Weasley and Hagrid. <laughs> oh, Fans. man. Do you reckon they'd, they'd definitely fucking get up to some... Oh, man. All words. the witches and wizards, man. They're horny fucking motherfuckers, man. Yeah, I bet you the, that cloak. What's the cloak that makes you invisible? Albus sure. Yeah, we use that for... Yeah, <clears throat> yeah I reckon. Evil. <clears throat> On this day in 2004, Sandra Bullock glassed a racehorse because she felt threatened. She said any creature with a snout longer than hers can't be trusted. <laughs> On this day in 2016, Mary Poppins had a run-in with the law enforcement when she flew into the flight path of an Airbus with her umbrella. The plane narrowly avoided her, but police were waiting for her when she landed at a nearby airport. She blew an alcohol reading of 0.09, which is the highest blood alcohol reading on record. Mary has been in and out of prison and says she started drinking heavily after attempting to babysit the Cash Me Outside girl seven years ago. Mary was, unfo <laughs> <laughs> Mary was unfortunately beaten to death by another female inmate last year while completing a two-year jail sentence for fingering things. Oh, I love the ending. Fingering things. I reckon Look, Mary, Mary Poppins, Poppins is, is so, dead. She's so hot. Spoon she's full got that, of like, sugar. You look after you fucking vibe. If I was a kid, I'd love her as my nanny. She has a really good voice. She's dead. Yeah. Like, she, yeah, she shouldn't have fingered things. She got beaten to death. Like, That's fucked my childhood, man. Dude, I know someone who's going to get beaten to death. On this day in 2012, Katy Perry kissed a girl. And while she liked it, the girl she kissed was only 13 and was in fact a minor. <laughs> the young girl said, Katy overpowered her and started sucking on her tongue. Katy was pulled off by strangers and arrested. However, all charges were dropped after Katy tossed the father of the child off as well as the prosecutor. If Katy offers to toss you off, you aren't, aren't going to turn it down. You know what I mean, boys? Haha, <laughs> this is great banter. Oh, 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 you fuck with you fuck with Matt. You fuck with Matt. <laughs> I <laughs> wish you were like a fucking air Fan. machine. Blow. That's hot air. Yeah, wow. Sorry. <laughs> oh. Oh, we need like music for our next segments and that man. A spoonful sorry. Makes the ah! oh, Question that time. Made me itchy. Oh, I've got it. All right, spot. if you have a question we want us to answer, you've got to comment on yeah, our YouTube it. podcast, YouTube channel, all right? And we'll fucking answer as many as we can. And begin. First question is from... Isaac Prentice. So, um... So, um... He was saying... So uh, he wanted to know what your thoughts your thoughts were. Ugh. Cut that, Connor. No, I leave it. That's great. Shit. Oh. He wanted to know what your thoughts were on mental health, um... Uh, he says, is there any personal experiences that come out on top you, know, you could share being that you're in social media and things like that? Um, he's just noted on there that um, it crossed his mind while, on the, while watching the podcast, hearing about your problems with social media, reach restriction, demonetization, the potential of being cancelled and being banned. He thought that must put a strain on your mental health. Oh, look, I think everyone's had fucking yeah. issues with mental health once, once a couple of times in their life. They're fucking everyone has. I mean, yeah, it's very stressful, but... I don't know. I think we're doing all right. Yeah. But do you think it's a common theme in, in social media that I think comes social up a lot? media fucking has created oath. a lot more of fucking... I think people... Yeah. I think, yeah. In social media, man, yeah, there's there's some sad people. <laughs> Whoa. That's from my ass as well, that one. Oh, that's long. That's at least 30 centimeters. Have you ever... Oh, this is pretty... It's a lot of information, but... Go. All right. You, you're combing your hair in the shower. I don't have any hair. Okay. <laughs> Fuck. I used to have hair, so I get it. I can relate. You're fucking cleaning your body, right? You you go to your, your fucking dick area and somehow one of your long hairs has gotten underneath, underneath your, foreskin. your foreskin. So, yeah. you have to fucking pull, the, pull the hair out. Sometimes I don't even pull the foreskin back. I just pull the hair out and it feels so fucking strange. And I've got long hair, so it goes forever. It's a weird feeling. Well, yeah. comment if that happens to you with long hair dudes. Where's, so you don't have a foreskin. I don't have a foreskin. It was torn I'm off by your parents. Clean. They fucking some. abused you. Wait, did your did you, so your mum and dad said snip it off? I guess so. I wasn't there when you were well, a baby, I was, but I don't remember. Oh yes, exciting. Fuck! Oh shit! Fuck it! Oh, fuck. Oh, 
Oh, I nearly fainted. Did you just put my microphone right up to my ass? Yeah. No, near it. it Not near all it. the way. It's going to be there. covered in shit particles by now. So, um, yeah, oh. mental health. I'm sure everyone has issues with it. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, but yeah, and in our line of work is, is very high stress, but also very rewarding. Like it's like, it's really shit sometimes, but obviously really good. So you take the good with the bad. And I think Michael and I, we're lucky because we're a bit... We, we sort of made it when we we're a bit older and we we're able to deal with these things. We've often said if we were at this level in our early 20s, we'd 100% be dead. I also He'd be reckon dead for sure. He'd if be- you fucking grow up with... We're so lucky. Facebook came into play when we were 18. We all through primary school and high school, we had no fucking phones. We had no fucking social media to compare ourselves to. It was just, you hang out with your friends, you go bike riding, you watch a movie, you go home, you have dinner. Then you go to bed. I used to brick the neighbor's dogs. (laughs) I used to actually shit on certain neighbor's doorsteps. I don't want to say their name, but they all had red hair. Hey, I never brick dogs. You're fucked, man. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, you didn't brick dogs. Wasn't that Calvin? Calvin. Calvin, Calvin. Just touching on your hair thing and the dick, I can relate when you sleep with, like, when my women next to my girlfriend, yeah, always end up her hair in my dick in the morning. It just wow. gets in there. Yeah, dude, it's a weird And feeling. wraps itself around and holds yeah, well, on. Well, yeah, dude, this latches on with the foreskin. You mm. got to pull it out. And then it's such a strange feeling. So, yeah, mental oh. health, where, like, where mental health, uh, where everyone's a fucking advocate for mental health. Of course, we, um, we're not exactly advocates for it, but I don't, I don't know. Yeah, like fuck, it's it's tough. But well, I reckon yeah. social media has definitely enhanced it. But yeah, like we said, we're lucky because we made we cracked it when we're a bit older. We can handle it a little bit more. And as soon as we feel ourselves sliding mentally, we do something about it. You know? Yeah, and we got friends and family around us. Too. Yeah, we got a good support network as well, so we're fucking sweet. Next so, question. Yeah, try and talk to your friends. And if pull you're that hair down. out of your dick. Pull the foreskin back first to avoid that strange feeling. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, mental health. Yeah. But the strange feeling's exciting. Mental health. Way. Pull the dick hair out after the mental health. Next huh? question um, is from Sunny RDR2. Um, oh, fuck you. Marty, will you ever cut Michael's hair again? Well, he went and got it cut the other day without even notifying me. God, I'm sweating a storm up. Look, it's fucking shorter than it was when I fucking f- fucked his hair last year. And he's gone and butchered it at the fucking hairdresser. It's too hairdresser. hot. And yeah, I don't mind it. I thought... And you sort of fucked it because you cut the length really short at the top. It was like a bowl cut. I like you longer. Sorry. Really? I'm yeah, into- fucking I'm into disgusting. Hell. It looks like your beard sort of turns into your fucking hair now, man. It's... I like you with an afro. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't take me long. Next question um, is from Jacob Dickinson. Dickinson. Dick um, in sun. Is there any way we can help you guys besides the website money wise? Me and my buddies are all on the website now. Hate to see you struggle. Let us know. Oh, guys. Mate, don't, that's don't, so yeah, nice. That is fucking lovely. But you Thank guys, you, dude. you guys just watching, engaging with our shit, telling people about it is, is this more than we could ever ask for. If you're a member of the university, that's fucking all we are. Which Thank reminds you. me, this fucking podcast is fucking sponsored by the university of fucking Markle. Where we have can all you shut our, the doors to the neighbors. Where we'll have all wow. our fucking over 120 fucking videos of us slaughtering each other. Okay? It's $5 a month. Yeah, fuck that's reasonable. But yeah, so thank you for, for that. And um, But yeah, d- 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 we're not doing so bad, all right? We're, we're getting by, so, so don't stress. And we'll be back. We're fucking, we're too good at this. We're in a bit of a lull, but we are too good at what we do. We will be back. And before you know it, we'll be rich as fuck and we'll be giving thousands of dollars to our fans. Thousands, man. For yeah, giveaways, just giveaways. randomly. Randomly, we'll do a giveaway. Oh, here, da da be da da ba da da be da ba. Pizza pasta, bolognese. Mm-hmm. Next question um, is from Dandilo. Dandilo, uh, what Dandila. is your f- What is your first memory of each other? I remember uh, we were playing tennis, um, and Michael and I were on the same side of the court, and Michael kept talking about how flushed he was. It was a really hot day, and I thought it was fucking hilarious. Really? Yeah. I'm so flushed. Yeah, I'm so flushed. He kept saying like that <laughs> in between points. <laughs> I remember just 
we were in the dance studio hall on the first day and you were fight we were all sitting down listening to oh, yeah, Matt that day, Spates. I remember that. And you had a wispy fringe. <laughs> <laughs> and I just remember you were real quiet. And then I have also before we started talking and hanging out heaps, there was another kid called Lewis who we were friends with. And me and Lewis would always call you Flea from the Red Hot Chili Peppers for some reason. Because I look like him. Yeah, I didn't get it because I didn't really no, fucking... Because I'm really good at bass playing. And yeah, I was quiet. It was my first day at a brand new Husk. I didn't know anyone, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I just remember for the first few weeks we called you Flea. And then I think, how the fuck did we, we start kid. becoming like good well, We friends. made out behind the toilets. And then it sort of everything just what fell into place. What fucking made us fucking... Or maybe... I don't remember. No, it was... My, I remember this. Remember MySpace? I fucking... My MySpace profile was just... I just wrote a bunch of nonsense. <laughs> and Michael thought it was so fucking crazy. <laughs> he printed it out and brought it to school. <laughs> and was like, you put this on the... You're fucked. <laughs> well, now look at what we fucking did. <laughs> no, I know. I just remember it was like the funniest fucking one-liners and shit. Like... I can't remember him now because it was so long ago. But I do remember that. And I remember we were driving home from a tennis tournament. Oh, yeah, in the cab. And he was being so... This is still in high school. Fucking and, and I was in the front seat. What Lewis and Michael doing? in the back. I kept touching the cab driver's... Brushing his leg. <laughs> and Lewis and Michael were just like, couldn't fucking believe it. Like, he thought it was the craziest fucking shit ever. Because we were like 15, you know. So, it's just like... That's what we're doing to him. But fucking Henry did some fucked up shit in cabs. <laughs> <laughs> And then initiation was when I went to fucking Toowoomba and that's where we really bonded because I met yeah, Henry I brought him, and all the boys. I brought him to all the Toowoomba boys, all the most fucked up group of kids you can fucking imagine. And, and that's, then that's where the drinking began. Introduced him to Goon and before you know it, boom. Fast forward 10 years later, he's nearly dead. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, fucking good times. I've told my stories before, but my first memory of Michael's, he showed me his hemorrhoid. Yeah, fuck me. And that was a, that's foul. Yeah, you Maybe. got back from overseas. And Marty's, my first memory of Marty's, he walked up, said, watch this. And he walked into a 7-Eleven and started busting potato chip packets and squishing bread while yeah, staring at the 7-Eleven. Yeah, he loves person. breaking shit in the shops. Yeah, fuck me. We used to do some horrible things in 7-Elevens, tear all the bread loaves apart and run out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fuck, do you remember the eggings and like the rockings we used to do? Yeah, I remember. Oh, I remember. Don't probably say yeah, some of them. Pegging handfuls of gravel at trucks on highways. Yeah, cut that, Connor. No, leave that in, Connor. In fact, replay it. <laughs> Pegging handfuls of gravel at trucks on highways. Yeah, cut that, Connor. No, <laughs> dude, I wasn't there that day. So yeah, I thought, yeah, yeah this go. is. We were kids. We we're like fucking sixteen. No, so it doesn't matter. Younger than that. Fifteen. Yeah, Next question uh, is from Sam Warner. Um, what is something that other scientists do that generally pisses you off? Uh, oh, they, oh, oh, it needs to be peer reviewed. Your experiment needs to be peer reviewed to be credible. Shut up. We're fucking two cunts. We're two peers here, cunt. Fucking, we do an experiment. It's right. It's real. We don't need some other cunt saying that's right, cunt. <laughs> Other fucking scientists, oh, you, you need to show those scientists and they all got to say, yeah, man, it's fucking right, cunt. Fuck off, cunt. <laughs> it's fucking right when we say it's right, you fucking cunt. Cunt. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, what he said. <laughs> next, <laughs> next question Mental is from... Health. <laughs> 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 Next question is from Dan Dor. Um, can you do the top ten German words, please? Oh fuck me! Kartoffelkäfer is just fucking incredible. That's a fucking they. That's a ladybug. Cool. A fucking potato beetle is called a Kartoffelkäfer. Krankenwagen means ambulance. Krankenwagen. Hals. 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 His, His neck. neck. Kugelschreiber. <laughs> Kugelschreiber <laughs> means pen. <laughs> Fuego is fucking fire. Auf Wiedersehen. Is oh, goodbye. I think Fuego is Spanish. Yeah, it is. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Tschüss. Tschüss. Tschüssi. <laughs> Tschüssi, Mama. Imagine that you laugh. 
dimensions and for once. Oh. Oh. oh, what else is there? Um, that's like six already. Um, there's um. <laughs> Schmetterling! Schmetterling! Is that fly? Is, is butterfly. <laughs> Flieger! <laughs> Flieger! Is fly. <laughs> oh, Wasser! I need Wasser! <laughs> that's water. Oh. Dimensions then for uns is the humans are for us. Hitler made no, that the one up. Dimension, the girls are for us. Oh, okay. Well, fucking Hitler probably made that up too. Hey, come on, man. Yeah, just calm down. You've ruined that everyone whole has a question. Good, everyone has a side to them that they don't like people to see. Yeah, but it happened, man. Move on. Get over it, man. Sorry. God. Next question is from Ben. Um, have you ever managed to get it up while on Coke or MD? Yeah. Yeah. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, maybe we, what tips can we give without MD? It's it's. I don't find it hard getting up. I find it hard to finish on MD. Yeah, Coke is hard sometimes. Coke is fucking get coke hard dip, to man. get it up. So, but it's all so It'll go inside. Yeah, you can thumb it in. And then when you're in, you might be able to get hard. Yeah, you got to hope. You roll it up in a little cock ball, like a little fucking man clit and thumb it in. And maybe your testicle as well. So the girl feels something. (laughs) And then you slop around on. (laughs) And try and get hard. But yeah, coke dick is nearly impossible. Yeah, MD is MD's probably a good thing because... You can go all night because you don't jizz. It's frustrating though, man. I just want to get done and yeah, move on. you can't finish. So I just want to get the job done and get out of there. Oh, fuego. Next question is from Call of Duty 23 Lopez. Mental health. If left with only three things to survive, the zombie apocalypse, uh, what would they be and which three mates would you pick to be with you? Um, probably... Um Three things to survive. I'd go the country of Australia. I'd go... Uh, my second thing would be a um, seven-kilometer wall going around the border of Australia. And my third th- item to survive would be a machine that kills all zombies. Fuck, that's good. Yeah, that is a good answer. Thank you. What three people would you want to be with? Um, fuck. Mon... Bosley. You'd have to take Esther. Yeah, you'd have to yeah, take I'd have Esther. to take Esther. Yep. Cool. I'd get Turkish Delights, a golf <laughs> set, and a golf course. <laughs> <laughs> That'd make for golf fun because you could swing at them. <sighs> and the three people? Fucking. Surely um, Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis, yes. I mean, Michael Jackson and uh, Donald Trump. Fucking, yeah, I'd have Trump. He's a good golf player. He loves his golf. Next question is from Peter Hunt. What's your best advice for picking up chicks? Be weird. Well, I just- had a line back in the day. This did backfire sometimes, but <laughs> it fucking works as well. And you ask the girl, have you ever seen a dead body? And it's fucking so strange. Like they think about it. Sometimes they're like, yeah, and they tell you a really horrific story. Yeah, I've just been to my mother's funeral. Yeah. But sometimes they're like, wow, that's so funny. Are you, you're so weird and strange. Next minute. I found the easiest way um, is just looks like as fucked as it sounds, looks really do not matter that much at Confidence all. Confidence is key. Yeah. You just got to fucking know that you're going to pick up and you will. So you just work on telling yourself that you will. Because fuck, trust me, oh, you if you can get used to you, them saying potentially no, and that's the worst case scenario, it's fine. It's, it's just confidence. It's all you fucking need. If you get rejected, trust me, then- some of our mates are like, my God, are fucking hideous, disgusting. Sorry. And they did so well. <laughs> I'm talking about you, man. Sorry. You're a handsome gun cunt. Thank you. Oh, fuck. I'm you know blown. what I'm talking about, don't you? Next question um, is from Lee Wilson. Uh, why are you guys not drinking anymore? Uh, because health uh, kick, yeah, health kick. Well, not a, not only a health kick. I, f- I, f- I feel like it's a it's a com- it's we, it was time. It was time for us to fucking stop drinking like fish. It was fucking our bodies and our minds, and we weren't able to do the things that we're 
put on this earth to do M- make fucking videos it was f- affecting everything so it's just it was just time to scale it back and fucking hell feeling fucking good mm-hmm. i can honestly say what two months in now or something i'm feel like it feels like i'm slowly coming back to normal like i was fucking literally like five years ago before intense drug use began i've started reading the bible you're a liar <laughs> oh, man. next question um is from round earther could i breed with bosley or could you at least sniff his boz hole and tell me what aroma he produces i had to uh, that's fucking weird um <laughs> he knows when his dog's about to shit i can see his asshole expanding and i know the normal sh- size of it and then so when we're on walks i can see it start to <laughs> like that yeah. open a bit i um, had to cut bosley's uh, toenails last night which is fucking terrifying. Did you hurt him? Yeah, well, that's, I was cutting little bit by little bit because they've got little blood vessels in their nails and you don't know where they start. Some of his nails are like black. So it's like, it was impossible for me to tell. It's fucking terrifying. And it's so hard. And he was Did just shitting himself. No, we got through it unscathed. But like, I, I only cut take? the bare minimum off. How long did like that take? 10, 15 minutes. Man, that's a mish. Yeah, it was terrifying. Next question uh, is from Holtz of Holtz. Um, how much money will it take for you guys, including Matthew Brown, to hang out for half an hour? I'm from Melbourne, so I'll come to you. What? You want to hang out with us for half an hour? How, yeah, much, how much would it cost? Nothing. You just come fucking hang out, bro. Yeah, fuck. What would no, you fuck do? it. 10 grand. Man, how good would it be if we could charge people 10 grand? Just to hang out with us. And we just had like fucking our days just booked out, fucking like just chilling. Oh, with just little dates with people. Yeah, yeah maybe we could do that, man. Fucking hang out with Marty Mocker, bro. I get strange when people ask me a question, but I'm reading it out to you. Sorry. Anyway. Next question is from Sabrina. Um, what is Mr. Matt Brown doing for work besides the podcast, which he fills with his beautiful laughter? Would you like to make it? Oh, also, would you like to make a video with Connor as a guest sometime? He's been a guest before, hasn't he? Mm, yeah. Sure, first season. Uh, she also says, "P.S. Cracker Melt cracks me up. Yeah, they Cracker are Milk very good at what they hilarious. do. Fucking hilarious. And should we get Connor back on comment? Comment on on this video. If we should get. Should we? We should get the whole fucking Cracker Milk crew on. Yeah, that's could, a lot of people. Yeah. We well, can make it happen. Yeah. We'll just get them on one at a time and they can each say a sentence and then rotate. We'll get, have a kissing comp. Who's the best kisser? <laughs> uh, Elias or Clang, clang, clang. Shit! Yes, here we go. Oh, God. Please, please. Oh, no, I'm sweating. Focus, out. focus, focus. Oh. <laughs> Don't laugh. You've got to fucking listen. <laughs> it's not funny, Matt. <laughs> I'm trying to do something oh. here, man. Dude, oh. it ruins the sound effects. Like, <laughs> I, you can't hear it as clear. <laughs> We're going to have to Come take on, that man. mic away from you. And oh, it? Why aren't you doing 20 second long ones anymore? <sighs> I fucking miss it, dude. Next question is from Lake McBogan. Um, if I send some printed pictures of you guys will you ret- with uh, return postage... Uh, will you sign them for me? How do you what do that? What do we that? do? Yeah. So they'll send you a picture of you and you guys can sign it and the return postage is already paid for. You just got to post it back to them. Yeah, so how yeah. do you post it then? You just go you to, just I think the letter Put it in one of, them go red to a letter, one of the red things. Yeah. I've literally... Oh yeah, that's pretty easy. I think I've posted once. Or, or they could just email us and we'll just write our names on the email and reply. Fuck. No, we'll do that. Seriously. All right, Lake. There you go. Send it in. Um, he says, uh, you guys must be up in my man cave wall 100% every time I laugh, my hernia pops out. Oh, oh like, where's it? What a legend. Oh. My hernia. <laughs> <laughs> Next question is from Dion T. Um, uh, what's the craziest drug experience you've ever had together? Fuck. Well, we've said this before. We've almost There's OD'd. There's been so many. Fuck but man. As, a, as a couple together. We were in bed one night fucking after a night out and we'd taken like i don't know we we're hallucinating we we're hallucinating aggressively then we took another like we did 18 caps in the space of seven hours each and what happens is you get stuck in loops in conversation loops because your short-term memory is literally maybe 30 seconds to a minute i'm not exaggerating we would talk we would the conversation would be what were we just talking about oh, i don't know man and it would and like we'd Try and work out what we're talking about, and then it would just start again. Come so again. it was just—it was fucked. Literally, you us- can't piss, 
you, your body starts shaking because the nervous system shuts down. Did you have the same thing where you would you sweat? You'd dude. take a hit of something and you'd be like, "Did we just take a hit we of something? How, how long many ago was that? We took. We had yeah. to start a time. We kept we like, Let's start again. And we had to have a stopwatch. And t- and we'd be like, "Oh, let's have another one. We haven't had one for a while." And then look at the stopwatch and be like, "Oh fuck, we had one like five minutes ago." Be careful with that shit, kids. Like, don't do it. To be honest. And um, also, um, what you, else was I going to say? You're the fucking, eighteen and responsible. Um, because fuck. I, I, like, I remember just looking at my hand and there was like electricity lines in between all my fingers. It is, if you do enough MD, it's a psychedelic, man. I and swear. I was just lying in bed going, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. His, his back was like fucking fully concaved and he's just going having fits of this weird sounds. He's like a demon. It's like exorcist. I was pissing myself <laughs> laughing. And then we just try and get up, have turns going to the toilet and you just can't piss. Oh, it's the worst. But that, that and many, many more of like, we just couldn't, we just did too many. We couldn't just have one or two. It yeah. was fucking the, everything. I reckon, yeah, permanent damage. Like I can't think. I'd love to get one anymore. of them brain scans to see how oh. much of your brain has been melted away. It's just so, <laughs> oh. There were stages like after that where people would be talking to me and I'd have to fucking really concentrate on what they were saying because... It took so long to program it. What I remember saying. when it started. I remember when the confusion shit started. When you when you would literally make no sense after MD. You would just be talking like about the just say a fucking random sentence, and no one would be able to understand you. And then it just got progressively worse, and it started happening to me as well. <laughs> and that it, that ends was question time. One time we were in fucking the casino. And I was sitting like on a fucking chair and Marty comes up to me. And I was like, dude, I've got to get this trip. I'm on my Uber when I was an Uber driver, my Uber account, accepting fares. Like a driver. Thinking was- I was driving. And he's like, dude. Yeah, I was like, what are you doing? Why are you accepting fares? And Mark was like, man, we got to work, man. We got to get to work. <laughs> and we're in the middle of a fucking bar at the Gold Coast. And then there was another time you said I was fucking trying to find dumbbells in a bar thinking where are the small dumbbells yeah. I think I was in the gym ask, ask me where the small dumbbells are that's fucking insanity but pretty cool anyway fucking don't do drugs kids or just don't do too many cause fuck it just doesn't end well alright prank call time eh no we have letter opening time <laughs> Alright, the next segment has been renamed to And this is a segment where we just open the shit that you guys send to our P.O. box I'm not going to read anything that's on it <laughs> Not a thing so I did it was I'm, just, I'm just assuming this is mailed to us Oh, we got a fucking, it looks like a Christmas card Oh, it's a Christmas card, everyone. Let's read the inside. Dear Gary and Judy. <laughs> <laughs> That's not addressed. Who the fuck? Oh, it's addressed to a uh, pastor and Mrs. G. Levens. <clears throat> fuck. Uh, someone's accidentally sent us this and we're going to read it. I trust that you have had a safe and healthy year. I had a total hip replacement in January and I'm now almost totally recovered. The travel restrictions have meant that I have had a full year at home, but have taught four courses online and been fully in, involved in my home church church's ministry. Have a wonderful Christmas. Much love, Kay. So uh, there you go, uh, Gary and Judy. If you're listening, Merry fucking Christmas from um, Kay. And Kay... Uh, that's not their address. It's actually our PO box. Yeah, fuck. It was sent to us. PO box two five six. So, not our fault. Well, we knew about it. We knew it was not addressed to us. I read it beforehand, and I, I didn't open it anyway. You did too. I told you. It's a fucking great letter, isn't it, Matt? Don't you think so, Matthew? Who the fuck sends Christmas cards? Any? Does anyone you know do this, Matt? Email. That- you fucking just email the cards. Who fucking does that? <laughs> Who? Like, old people. Old people do this shit still. They don't kids at primary school. All this is, is just a stupid time-wasting message for someone to brag about what they've done all year. 
and then say much love at the end. You're very rude, being very confrontational right now. Like I'm actually scared. Yeah. Christmas cards are shit. Sh- shaking a bit. <laughs> Don't you reckon, Matt? Back me up. Yeah, I got to admit, I think they're a waste of uh, paper. That was not only a waste of our time, very but their time too. Very uncomfortable. Killing right? the environment. Same with wrapping paper, wrapping presents. Like, it's not fuck wrong. It, that is such. A, if I got that, put some money in there. <laughs> That's so shit. That's almost as bad as the fucking gremlins. Oh, fuck me. The gremlins. Cut that, Connor. Cut the gremlins. Nah, fuck the gremlins, man. Leave the fucking gremlins in. Who the fuck sent us gremlins? I like the gremlins. Oh, dude, we're sorry. We're not that. Look, it's just funny. Look, send us some shit, but make sure it's worthy. What the fuck? <laughs> you want to put it on the wait, table wait, wait. of glory? It must be worthy. Where are the fucking gremlins? They came alive and who knows where they are now. They're fucking gremlins. Mm, mel- have you not seen the movie? Yeah, yeah. I melted them in the wait, oven. Wait, they could have... Oh, yeah, they're at the front. They could have fucking put a lot of effort into it. They could have painted them like Warhammer shit, right? They're fucking cool. Look at them. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Marty's hateful on that like I'm hateful on the Christmas card. I love the gremlins. Hey, they're good. Let's all just be They're part be of the together. table now. Kay. Let's all be together forever, everyone. Here. The second okay. movie was shit, though. It's the hand I've been using bring, to bring, finger my Give me your hand, man. I don't want to. All right. It's the hand I've been using to scratch uh, my arms. Uh, uh, oh, very sticky. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. Sediment. Oh, I love that word. Mm. Sediment. Sediment. Sticky sediment. Sediment. Sticky bicky sediment. All right, next segment. It's time for us to climb away. And there's a segment oh, where we just prank all. Yeah, that was good. And we're going to give Arnold Fine a rest this week. And we're going to sub in. What's their name? This, this uh, is a great character. Carl Filton. Oh, Carl Filton. Carl Filton. Yeah, that's good. Oh, actually, fucking, what's a really like friendly name? Maybe. Um, oh yeah, like maybe Margaret Little, and he's a man. His name is Margaret. Can you be a man and name Margaret? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah. And that's the character. That voice I just did then. And I'm gonna call. Who can I call? I'm gonna call Chinese restaurant. Chinese restaurant. Boom. Spot on, man. Exactly right. I'm going to call a fucking Chinese restaurant. Michael said that. Oh, put on Stinging Gang Ling 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 uh, pick up order for uh, quite a large number of people. Uh, would you guys be able to help me there, or uh, are you guys too busy or something? Yeah, so just like you have the thirty people, just like you go to the uh, um, just like the rice, honey chicken, and yeah. so just like the co- yeah curry. Yeah, look, I was just gonna uh, do a bit of a uh, just a bit of a mixed bag there, and um, just sort of yeah. order some bits and pieces, a little bit of everything, maybe some rice, some um, some different sorts of dishes. And um, just sort of get something to cater to everyone's needs, if you know what I mean. Just something so that, you know, people can walk past, a bit of finger food, maybe some main courses as well, uh, maybe some drinks, uh, lots of rice and stuff like that. So, yeah, just something like that if you guys are available for that. Yeah, you have the steamed rice too, just like a little bit cheaper, a little bit cheaper. It's good for just like the fried rice, curry. Oh, mate, that sounds great. That sounds lovely. Oh, my God. You're like reading my mind or something. Yeah, that sounds lovely. Yeah, look, put me down for a couple of those. Um, Do you guys have that Mongolian beef? Yeah. Yeah, look, I might get a couple of them too. A couple of Mongolian beefs. Um, And listen, um, what about um, sauteed chicken skewers? Do you guys have... Yeah, sati, sati, sati sauce too, just like sati chicken, sati beef, sati lamb, sati king crown. Yeah. Like you go to choose the meal, that one. Mate, that's great. That's great. I'm loving that. I'm loving these suggestions. Absolutely loving them. Keep them coming. Yeah. yeah so great. So look, and look, look at this. Look at this. Okay, look. Let's do some rice. We'll do the sati chicken. We'll do the honey chicken. It's a Mongolian beef. <laughs> yeah, no, it's great. It's great to see. Yeah. Love it. Mm, small business yeah, so, supporting so it. Like the, I think like the, you're coming in the restaurant and so it's like the, how many people just like do the, uh, this... Um, oh, look, listen, um, let me just have a quick head count here. So there's one, two, three, um, four, five. 
um, six, seven, eight, and then Sarah's coming later with her brother-in-law, and then Timothy's bringing his two cousins, um, and then my uncle's coming with his boss, and his two kids are about 15 years old, so trust me, they can eat. But overall, there's probably about 13 people coming. Yeah, no, it's great. So I could bring them all in, or um, I can just send someone in to, to take the order and to take the food back. So whichever's easier for you guys, do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. It's just like there. Just like you go to the choose the meal in the in the in the restaurant coming the restaurant, and that's I show you show you the just like mini spring roll, honey chicken. Look, listen, let's do that. If that's easier, I'll just come in. I'll get in the cab and I'll come in and I'll order from the menu there. If that's easier for you yeah. guys, is that is that what you're after? Yeah, all right. Well, listen, let's do that. I'll book an Uber and I'll come in and uh, we can talk face to face. How's that? Yeah, okay. Okay, sounds great, mate. I'll see you shortly. I should be in in about 20 minutes. Yeah, okay, brother. Yeah, see you soon, brother. See you later, mate. Thank you. Yeah, no, it's great. It's actually absolutely great. Lovely, lovely, mate. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa! 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 Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> oh. Look how shiny I am from glistening sweat. Yeah, I know, I'm boiling. Oh, I was laughing, I was pouring sweat so much oh, from dude. laughing. That fucking abuse scream is great. <laughs> that Chinese guy was very tolerant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, he's a nice dude. <sighs> we're the best! We're the best! We're the best! We're the best! 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 Stay humble, everyone!